Don't kill professional trainers. A question to all CEOs, HR managers, and uh, heads of training departments. It's just nagging me to be asked. My intention is not to offend anyone, but really uh, someone needed to ask this question. Okay, your management has authorized you to spend X, X, X amount of uh, money in training. That is great news. But how much percentage of that XXS goes to professional trainers? In my estimate, the answer is hardly 5%. The remaining 90% goes to food, seminar halls in hotels, travel, accommodation, administration, logistics, and internal HODs and uh, specialists as trainers. I mean, these hotels and uh, airline companies need a share of the training budget and the HODs and internal specialists need the exposure. I'm not against it. But what about the professional training industry? You don't care, of course. Why should anyone care? I don't dine out. Should I start scheduling a family dinner at a post restaurant once a week so that they can stay in business? Of course I won't buy into this sentimental business proposition. So why should HR managers and CEOs bother about the training industry? It is a bit different in the case of the professional training industry. I won't lose anything by not dining out, but the HR and CEOs have everything to lose by having a weak, amateurish, and unevolved training industry. Why do you think that despite all the training the organizations do, uh, do for the employees, um, the desired effects that can be scientifically measured, by the way, are not showing such as, uh, number one, increase in uh, positive attitude of the staffs, increase in learning attitude of the staffs, Number three, mutually beneficial aspiration of staffs and uh, organization in plain language, mutual loyalty. Number four, increase in innovation from staff level. Number five, increase the expertise exhibited by the staff. Number six, increase customer satisfaction. Number seven, decreasing cost per staff. Number eight, increasing sales per staff. Number nine, increasing authentic leadership among the staffs. Number 10, successful succession planning. It is still not too late. In the end, it is an ecosystem. If you don't uh, plant trees today, you won't get much succession tomorrow. The tree in this analogy refers to uh, money actually invested in the professional training industry. Oxygen implies uh, to be above 10 effects of effective professional training.